17 Things You Didn't Know Were Toxic. Number 17. Daffodils. Innocent enough to look at, but they are in fact poisonous plants containing an alkaloid called lycerin, which can cause daffodil itch or dryness and scaling on the hands. If you're unlucky or unaware enough to eat daffodil bulbs, symptoms can include an accelerated heart rate and gastrointestinal problems requiring the use of a stomach pump. Number 16. Aloe vera, the plant contains a soothing gel which is used to treat all kinds of burns, but the plant casing itself contains a layer of aloin, which is known to cause abdominal pain and diarrhea if ingested. Number 15, Calla lily. These are popular cut flowers, but it contains a poisonous protein called asparagin. A nibble or two of this beautiful flower can cause swelling in the tongues and mouths of humans and liver failure in pets. Be aware that the protein is most concentrated in the plant's roots. Number 14. Apples. As long as you eat an apple a day, you'll likely keep the doctor away, but just don't eat the seeds. They contain a cyanide compound. Now, to be fair, you'd have to eat a lot of apples to pose any risk to your health, like around 85 grams worth of dry seeds. It works out to around a half cup. As we said, it would take a lot of apples. Just don't put that to the test. Number 13. Hedgehog. These cute animals don't possess poison glands or sacs of venom, but they do have a process called anointing. The hedgehog forms a scented froth from the mouth, then uses its tongue to paste the saliva over the spines that might allow for the animal to infect and possibly poison potential predators. So if you must pick one up, handle with care. Number 12. Chrysanthemum. Well known as mums, these flowers are always popular during Thanksgiving and Mother's Day, usually placed in foil-wrapped pots. But you'll want to keep your dog or cat away from this plant because mums can prove poisonous to animals, causing symptoms like nausea or hypersalivation. The mums flower heads can be toxic to humans as well, but not terribly so. Contact would result in a mild case of dermatitis. Still, you wouldn't think that merely touching a mum could cause you to itch and swell up, right? Number 11. Spanish fly. It's not actually a fly, but a blister beetle with a bright green sheen. They're known for producing a toxin called cantharidin, which produces a bitter taste and smell and can irritate the eyes and skin of predators. Since the 19th century, scientists have known how to isolate the toxin from the insects. It makes an effective poison with only a few drops required to cause death and can easily be mixed with food or drink without anyone noticing. As you might know, the term Spanish fly also returns to a subject which belongs on an entirely different list. Number 10. Palithua coral. Many hobbyists keep this in their reef aquariums, but the Palithua coral is known to hold some of the world's most toxic organic poison, four micrograms of which is enough to kill a human. Named palatoxin, it's fast-acting enough to kill you in minutes. Number 9. Millipedes, an all-time creepy crawly. Millipedes carry toxins that can irritate the eyes of birds and various small animals, burn the skin of insect predators, ants in particular, and produce rashes on human skin. Some monkeys have taken note of how effective those toxins are against insects and will purposely irritate the arthropod, then rub them on their bodies using their toxins as flea deterrents. Number eight, hooded pitohui, an actual toxic bird. This little bird carries a less toxic version of the same poison carried by the South American dart frog. Just touching the bird is enough to transfer the poison. Those unlucky enough to have touched the bird's wings and or feathers describe their skin tingling and becoming numb, and in certain cases, their skin felt like it was on fire. Number seven. Slow Loris. It looks and sounds kind of like a Dr. Seuss character, but don't be fooled. This is one of the world's few venomous mammals. They're known to produce a toxin from the insides of their elbows and smear it on their young to repel predators. It can also lick the toxin from its elbows, and once the toxin is in its mouth, the Loris can deliver a venomous bite. Number six. Centipedes. Bites received by adult humans can be extremely painful and produce severe swelling, fever, chills, and weakness. But normally those bites are not vital. But they can deliver venom in sufficient quantity to prove dangerous to small children and people allergic to bee stings. Number five. 
spur-winged goose, as indicated by its name. This bad-tempered bird has sharp spurs located on the bends of its wings that can inflict significant damage. These geese dine on blister beetles, which contain toxins strong enough to kill a full-grown horse. The geese are immune to the toxin, which they store in their body, and that makes them a bad idea for a meal. Toxins can still remain harmful after cooking, as a mere 10 milligrams of it can prove lethal. In other words, if you try to eat this bird, you're just cooking your own goose. Number four, Pfeffer's flamboyant cuttlefish. Ever notice how animals that are poisonous or venomous display some bright colors or patterns on the skin? It's a way of warning predators to back off, and such is the case with this cuttlefish, known for its behavior of turning black, red, purple, and exhibiting golden spots when it's agitated. It's a beautiful display that lets potential predators know that cuttlefish is packed with poison. Indeed, this creature's toxin is as potent as that of the blue-ringed octopus, making it, obviously, unsuitable as a food source. Number three, common toad. While some frogs do carry toxins, they're not always found in jungles or rainforests. The toad is one of the most common amphibians found throughout Europe. They're known for their defensive posture, standing on all fours and inflating its body when threatened. Their real defense, though, is the malodorous and potentially lethal poisons they secrete. A mere touch of the toxin can result in respiratory problems, paralysis, and seizures, and if left untreated, those symptoms can result in death. And so you know, certain animals are immune to the toad's toxin while humans are not. Number two, monarch butterfly. On the off chance that you'd really want to eat one of these majestic creatures, well, just don't. Some of these creatures, such as the orange and black monarch butterfly, can be poisonous. These butterflies lay their eggs on milkweed plants, which contain a toxic sap. The resulting caterpillars feed off the leaves, ingesting the toxin, which it carries to adulthood. The toxin is found in the butterfly's wings and is heavily concentrated in the abdomen. So just how important is the milkweed to the monarch butterfly? Well, take a look at this image. You can see a monarch newly emerged from its chrysalis. Now, in 2015, the monarch was aided by an unlikely source in California, the drought. The dry conditions encouraged Californians to plant drought-tolerant plants, such as milkweeds, which in turn served to reinvigorate the majestic monarch butterfly. Number one. The floral snake. Almost all snakes are venomous to some degree, but very few are actually poisonous. Also known as the tiger keelback snake, this animal is both venomous and poisonous. The floral snake doesn't make its own poison, though. It acquires toxins from the poisonous toads it eats and stores it in the neck glands. They can then deliver the toxin through their fangs as well as excreting it to ward off predators. 